Uh, yeah. And then, uh, and then what else? Uh, so I might do the same thing with the red. I mean, the red is almost entirely in shading. Like, there's no part of the red that really, like, hit, catches the sunlight. But I might cheat it a little bit. Or I might, um, I might just show, like, a lick of it right here. Uh, yeah, just very subtle, very slight. Um, the wing is really flat. The wing is really flat right now. And I need to do something about that. Uh, I'll, I guess if I darken this, actually. Oh, I'm drawing this on the wrong layer. Uh, I have a separate layer for this. Uh, oops. Alright, uh, so on this layer, let's draw in like a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more shape. Uh, I guess the, I'm just trying to like shade like not just the wing but also like the torso of the bird here. But I think um, I think I can't. I think I have to basically like this side, this whole side of the. I'm, I think I mean, I'm gonna exaggerate the size of the wing. I think a little bit because if I don't, I think it's like it looks weird. It looks like flat and it looks I don't. It looks I don't know. I just don't don't care for it. Uh, so oops, wrong tool. Uh, deep -deep. uh, do I program offline? Um, for this, pro sorry, I, I should, uh, I, sh I, I should pay more attention to chat, especially now that's not going completely insane. Um, I, um, I, this project I do entirely online. So, um, the reason I'm working on art right now is because I had some art to do. Uh, I, I, but like, I, I program this project on stream. I've, I've done literally this entire project start to finish, uh, on stream. So, if you if you'd care to see like the very origins of this project, you can uh, dip back through my stream archive, or the uh, the video archives are down. There's a link to it uh, to the YouTube page lower down on the on the screen, and yeah, you can literally see everything that I've done for this project start to finish. Um, and uh, yeah, so I program sometimes. I uh, I did a little bit of scripting earlier today, and uh, I have I have some other art, some other code tasks that I can do too. Maybe after I make the parrot, I'll switch to. Uh, I'll switch over to do some like uh, some like code tasks or some design stuff. Uh, I yeah like it's not always the case that like sometimes I like literally like I very I very specifically have to do like one one specific thing. But um, today I have like a lot of things that I could be working on. So um, if people have requests for like the type of thing that they want to see especially much, I I can oblige. Uh, so uh, all right yeah like I said I'm gonna bring the screen up a little more. Uh, it's just, I just want the, uh, the familiar is like, you get a new familiar, like only every, only every like six or seven levels. And I just like animals and I want, I like, I want your animal friend to be cool. And, uh, yeah. Uh, wait, what? Oh, whoops. I brought it up and then I accidentally color fixed again. Derps. Uh, all right. I think that's a little bit better. I actually can use... A l I c if I I could use a lighter tone. I could use a mid tone and a lighter tone. I don't tend to, so I probably shouldn't. No, I shouldn't. Okay, I was tempted to because it would like like what I could do is I could give the feathers like a slight luster to it. I could make it look the like they're not just uh not just bright, but they're actually like catching, you know, like reflecting like a glint of sunlight or uh you know of the lighting. But no, I don't. I don't think that's necessarily the right thing to do. I'll just uh, I'll just lighten up the whole thing. Yeah, I think that's a little, probably a little bit better. Uh, so uh, yeah. Oh, it doesn't have feet. <laughs> it's probably have feet. <laughs> uh. So uh. Yeah, I'll, I'm just gonna. Uh, what what are the feet colors of our other, like? Okay, yeah, I was gonna say I, just for simplicity, I'm, I think I'm gonna make the feet like darkly colored. I just don't want to introduce like a new tone, and also like like a lot of the feet look slightly like almost flesh tone with like darker claws, but yeah, no, I'm gonna go with like this darker toned feet because uh, it's on a light surface. Like the the feet are like clinging to this. Uh, this sleeve here, uh, and so I just want to make, 
make it have some some level of contrast. Uh, so I'll put this on the same layer as the beak, which is this. Excuse me, is this layer here? Uh, and uh, slightly narrower. Uh, ah, yeah, the feet aren't going to be like aren't going to be like mind blowing. They're, they're not. They're going to be like especially complex, but basically like. <laughs> Just something simple like that. Uh, yeah, it's still... Alright, so... There's a little more contrast to it, which is nice. I, I, oh, yeah, no, I, I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna fix the wing, because the wing definitely needs a little more help. There's so much going on on, like, other parts of the parrot. Okay, the head is... Okay, so here's the to-do list. I need to reshape the head, because the head is currently misshapen. I need to, or like the whole head and neck area is a bit misshapen. I need to fix the wing, because the wing is really, um, the wing is really, uh, basic compared to everything else. Everything else has a lot more going on right now, and I don't want the wing to look that boring, like I've been saying. Uh, so I might, huh, no, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to accomplish that exactly. I might, like, try and imply a little bit of feather pattern. Um, we'll see. Uh, and then, uh, th so those are the two big things. Uh, okay. Uh, what is wrong with the, the head? The, the neck is too, a, li a little too jowly. And the, yeah, so there's a little too much, uh, neck in front, and there's a little, too little head in back. Uh, so, uh, I don't know which layer I accidentally introduced that on, introduced those on... Uh, maybe it was on the layer where I had the shading. I didn't. I wasn't. Uh, I, I might not. Have, I might have gone overboard with uh, with change with uh, adding in the shading, and I might have changed the silhouette a little too much. So that's already better. Uh, I mean, it's a little hard to tell because like there's the blue of the hat directly behind it. Um, but the other thing I'll do is to bring the head slightly further back. Um, I guess that's... No, nah, that, that part might not be quite as necessary. Uh, it might be fine how it is, actually. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not done yet, but I need to do other things more than to continue changing the shape of that. Um, actually, on the eye layer, I might make the eye slightly beadier. That's not the eye layer, is it? <laughs> on the eye layer. That's not the eye layer, either. What, what layer is the eye layer? There we go. Uh, it should be like a tiny little dot. That might be too small. That's that's slightly too small, but it'll be along these lines. Uh, the, when I'd originally drawn it, I uh, I hadn't drawn in the shading yet, so uh, so it stood out a little bit more. But then once I put the shading in, it sunk right in. Um, that, I think, I like that enough. No, the side of the face is looking a little flat. Alright, so I need to, oh, yeah, the side of the face is looking a little flat because, what is this, what is the face, what is like the actual like geometry of the face? It's like, it's inset, right? It's like, it's like smooshed in, right? Um. Wow, excellent work, everyone. <laughs> you nailed that event. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, I think, like, the parrot's face is actually, like, a little bit, uh, is a little bit pinched. Yeah, there's, like, no, I mean, there's, yeah, there's literally, like, no chin, right? It's, like, the lower beak, and then, um, so, yeah, okay, so maybe I actually need to bring the, uh, the front of the face back even further. Oh, and then, yeah, you know what I need to do is, uh, I, the, the, like, there's like a, there's like a bunchiness up in front. So wait, I, uh, I don't usually do this, but I might want to, like, choose the position and, like, the general shape of the head based on where the eye can be placed. Because, like, the eye kind of has to be placed on a pixel. I can't put the eye between pixels, otherwise it, like, looks fuzzy and, uh, 
Uh, oh, yeah, so the, the way the... Uh, that's an interesting question, Amish Cyborg. The way the event system works is... Uh, is very... It, it varies a lot. It's very varied. <laughs> um, so in, in that particular event, the way you succeed and the way you succeeded is to is to cover all bases. So because Marty chose to infiltrate and because you chose to stake out, um, I mean, the story there is that, uh, you, I guess you don't really get the whole, uh, <laughs> no, there's nothing random about it. Um, there's, uh, the, uh, the whole story, like you only get part of the story. Like you, like, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't explain it in detail, but what happened there is actually that, um, on your stakeout, no, who is it? Who is it that stuck out? Yeah, you you stick on your stakeout. Uh, which okay, so no, on, when Marty infiltrated the uh, the war chief's uh, inner circle, uh, they found out that they had. Uh, <laughs> again, you don't really get this story up front, but um, uh, you find out that the the inner circle had. Uh, bribed no not bribed uh blackmailed one of the guards one of the vault guards so because marty got that information on your stakeout you found the you you were able to capture the guard as he was smuggling uh smuggling the uh the the loot out of the vault um what would have happened is if if you if you infiltrated the gang but you didn't perform the stakeout you would have found out about the plan, but you wouldn't have been in time. To, you wouldn't have been there in time to catch them. If you had just done the stakeout, but you hadn't infiltrated the gang, um, you wouldn't have noticed anything out of place because you were expecting the war chief to be perpetrating some offense. But actually, the war chief had blackmailed the guard to perpetrate the offense, and so you would have, you wouldn't have like it would have like completely okay. Uh, <laughs> This game has dragons. <laughs> um, we were actually we were on the path of spoilers. We were on the path of dragons uh, earlier uh, in the stream, but uh, <laughs> thank you, Marty. I put a lot of thought into the quest writing. I might do more quest writing later, so uh, uh, we can do we can we can have fun with that. Um, uh, we were on the path of dragons earlier today. Uh, it didn't work out because. Uh, when we were trying to cross the river, uh, the, the, the raft accidentally crashed into the, uh, the people hopping across the, the rocks. So, uh, it didn't, it didn't go, it didn't go great. It didn't go perfectly, but yeah, we, we, we might, we might find another map to the Path of Dragons. Uh, it could happen. Wait, what am I doing with the face here? No, not that. What am I, <laughs> what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm thinking of like repositioning the face a little bit. Just relative to the eye, which seems a little silly, but I might. Yeah, wait, no. Okay, so yeah, so that, that's kind of right. Whoops, uh, not that. Uh, I'm on the correct layer. Good. I. Uh, I might. I might move the beak back a click. Yeah. Because the head is still too big. Uh, okay. So I'm going to move the beak back. Uh, the real problem here, the reason I'm having so much difficulty is that I actually like the fox. And so I'm like, in order to uh, say goodbye, oops, wrong layer. Uh, in order to say goodbye to the fox, I want, uh, yes, I am, <laughs> I am working in paint.net. Uh, because in this case, I think it is actually the right tool for the job. Uh, or at least it's an entirely satisfactory tool for the job. So, uh, all right, so yeah, so this head shape, the eye, um, yeah, okay, so the thing, right, okay, so the thing that is, I think, amiss about this is that uh, I'm, I just have the head shaded all wrong. Whoops, wrong tool. Uh, uh, I ha the the eye, like the shading of the head, should be like, should be more like uh, against the eye. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Now he reminds me of like RoboCop with like the, I don't know, but I don't know. I think that <laughs> this pair is just going to look a little hardcore, I think. Uh, I mean, I can change that hypothetically. 
but I think this pair is just going to look a little hardcore. <laughs> what is happening with that? What is happening with that that I can fix? I need more pictures of birds, more pictures of parrots. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, okay, so yeah, maybe I just need more roundness to the face. Or maybe one of the things I need is more roundness to the face. Um, if you, if you, I, like, I might have literally never drawn a bird before. This might literally be the first time I've ever drawn a bird. I honestly don't recall any, any scenario wherein I've drawn a bird before in the past. So this might be my inaugural bird draw. Uh, <laughs> which might explain, you know, some of what we're seeing here in terms of, like, how well it's turning out. Um, all right, uh... Yeah. I don't know why they're shading on the top of the head. I don't think there should be. Yeah, this... this I, I think we're getting there. We're moving in the right direction. Uh, Photoshop is blower. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I'm using paint.net. Uh, <laughs> whoa, oops, wrong tool. Uh... Yeah, I don't know why I had the head so dark to begin with. What layer is that on? There's like a stray pixel here. I don't know what layer it's on. There it goes. Alright, uh... Yeah, I think that was part of the... That was a lot of the problem. I don't want the... I'm not necessarily trying to make the eye look quite so slanty. Uh, oh, so I'll just not, I guess. Right? That's the solution. Uh... Uh... Oops. <laughs> Don't mind me just drawing green streaks across everything. Alright. <laughs> so it's much simplified. But I think this is an improvement. Uh, now let me just finish... Uh, uh, finish the shape here. Uh, okay. Whoa, what just happened to the script? At the corner of my eye, I was like, it just disappeared. Oh, hey! Uh, <laughs> um, oh, a protospasm! <laughs> you just showed up, didn't you? Uh, and I know what happened. is uh, So the reason the script crashed just now is because... Uh, it's because... Um, I, edit, I was editing data, and I didn't restart the script. So this, um, I added in the, the quill badge... And protospasm showed up, and protospasm has the quill badge, and uh, sorry for calling out protospasm. Sorry, it was just it was relevant to the crash because <laughs> I gave you the quill badge, but I because I hadn't restarted the script, the game didn't know what the quill badge was, and so it crashed. But now, um, so I'll restart the script in just a moment, and uh, and you have your quill badge is the good news. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, and we're drawing a parrot, as you might have seen. The parrot. Yeah, I I think I'm expecting too much of the parrot in some respects. I think I just have to, like, chill and let the parrot be the parrot. Because, like, I keep wanting the parrot to be the fox, and the parrot's never going to be the fox. The parrot's the parrot, is what the parrot is. Uh, <laughs> um, I might want to ditch the yellow. Because I think the yellow is just confusing the shape. Like, you see the peak of the arm, and you see the peak, you know, you see the peak of the upper arm, you see the peak of the elbow, and then you see the yellow of the parrot, and then I think that's too much. Um. Ah, hey, new follower. Uh, <laughs> uh, 710583, welcome, thank you for following. Um, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know what exactly to do here. Uh, because, yeah, if I don't have the yellow, I don't want to just have it green and red. So, like, what would I do for coloration? I don't want to use blue, because blue is going to have the same issues. Uh, I thought it would be kind of nice if the if there was, like, some similarity in the coloration between the two. But uh, at this point, it seems not to be advantageous. It seems more just to be a distraction. So... I think I'm just going to go in a different direction with it. Uh, 
I actually before I go in completely the other direction, I could just try and uh, I could just I could just clarify it because actually, yeah, no, this might be this might be fine. I just need a I'll try like going with a darker dark on the edge, and uh, maybe that'll differentiate that'll separate the the coloration a bit. Uh, so instead of just having it, yeah, is that like that quote unquote dark patch is like still really light. So what if I just went in with a uh, what layer is it? Uh, yeah, it's this layer. <laughs> uh, just with like a darker streak here. Maybe that would be enough to set it apart. It's hard to say. Oh, in part because it's too it's too it's too bright up on the neck. Like up here, this part should be shaded. Maybe not even come up quite so high. No, the height was okay. Nah. Something's not right here. Something is amiss. Uh, I could literally just, like, rotate the color. Like, I could just take this layer and, like, find a different... Whoops, not auto level. <laughs> Whoa, I don't know what just happened. I have no clue what auto level does. Uh, no, uh, hue and saturation, uh, just, like, spin the hue. It's, like, a different part of the color wheel. Alright, so it clearly doesn't look good on other parts of the color wheel. At least not like that. Uh, yeah, and I can't use, uh, I can't use pink tones. So what if it was a subtle change? What, was it, what if I didn't change it too much? Is there, like, a subtle shift I could give it that would... Make it work better. Uh, nah. Huh. I might not do the parrot. Like, I could just... Huh. What is it that I'm trying to do here? I mean, I think the reason I was thinking parrot in the first place is because, as we saw, like, this... There are apparently parrots that are colored the exact same way our banker is colored, like, this this parrot color is, like, pretty much exactly the same way our banker is colored, and, uh, I think that was what I was picking up on, but if I can't, if, like, the, if the closeness in the color in any regard, oh, restart script, sorry, thank, uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Marty VM, uh, <laughs> um, uh, if it's the, if the closest in the color is, like, what's making this, like, not, uh, work, hey, new follower, uh, uh, Swiss size, welcome, thank you for following, uh, <laughs> welcome to the channel. Um, alright, so if I wasn't gonna make a parrot, I might, I might, like, I might use the parrot, like, at another, at another time, like, for something else, maybe. I think for now, though, I'm just not going to use it for this. That's my gut. Um, I'll, so I'll just, I'll, I won't get rid of it for now, I'll just hide the layers, and, uh, try and think of, like, what else, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't literally have to give a new familiar if I don't want to. There's no, like, rule that says, like, we have to change familiar. I could just go with more, uh, yeah, I, I could just, uh, I could just have it so that, um, you keep the fox for a little while longer. I think part of it is that it's really like the fox, and so it's going to be really hard for me to replace the fox. Uh, oh, speaking of the fox, he has a little... Some straight pixels floating in front of his face. Um, I shouldn't be so sentimental about the fox, but uh, uh, I do kind of feel that way a little bit. <laughs> um, so the parrot, huh? I think I think like the. Yeah, no, I just think it's not quite right. So, oops. Uh, so what would I like more? What would be better? Uh, I could do... I could just make the parrot fly. I don't know if that would help. No, I kind of like the idea of the perched. I could do, like, an owl or something. Was Oh, that's the parrot speak. I was like, what is that? <laughs> uh, I could try, like, an owl uh, and give the fox a pet. The fox can have a pet. <laughs> the 
the fox is kind of a pet, uh, a pet adventurer, a small child. But <laughs> no. um, what do owls look like? I mean, it doesn't have to be a bird. It could be, it could be anything really. Um, well, I think part of the reason I was thinking uh, parrot is because parrots are brightly colored. Uh, this banker is slightly brightly colored. This this banker is parrot colored, as we as we discovered. And uh, the standard bearer is a little flashy, too. So it seemed like the right time, right? But, yeah, because, like, because that was actually, like, turning out to, like, clash more than it, than it worked together. Um, yeah, I could just make it fly instead. I think I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give flying a shot. And if that doesn't work, then... I have serious problems. <laughs> but I think this will work. Um, so I'm actually going to basically start over, right? Uh, I might... I mean, if I wanted to, I could actually make the parrot, like, colored like the uh, the parrots, like the banker is colored. I could, like, use this color pattern. That might be a little... Like I said earlier, though, that might be a little too... a little too matchy-matchy. Um... Uh, yeah. So okay, so what if what? If, let's look at owl. Let's seriously consider owl, because like I don't want to I don't want to make the same mistake twice in a row. I don't mind making mistakes as long as they're not like sequential. As long as they're not back to back. Um. Yeah. An owl seems cool. Um. Yeah. Hey, check out this guy. This one looks like a moth, almost. I don't know. That's like a cool owl. Or like, it's just really interesting. Uh, um, it, it probably won't be cool. I don't know, like, it, I probably won't go crazy with, like, the wing patterning like that, because, like, fine texture doesn't tend to work very well in this game. But, um, yeah. And I think an owl's good. Um, and, yeah, so, because, like, yeah, what was occurring to me is that, like, so we have this, uh, we have, like, the brightly colored, uh, we have the bright colors, but, like, as we found, like, bright colors on bright colors on bright colors, like, it gets to be way too much, way, like, really fast, so, the, the, I was thinking of owl, because, like, the, the, the detailing here is, like, like, flat white, and then, like, you know, d this dark, like, this dark brownish, grayish color, so, owl, right? That's, like, that's, like, what the color owls are, so... Um, I, uh, in terms of, like, what coloration, I might, I might go simple, kind of like, I'm thinking, like, maybe something like this, uh, for coloration, like, a little bit, like, brownish gray, uh, or grayish brown, or whatever you want to call it, and then kind of like a, cr a cream color, maybe, uh, not like that, that one I just thought looked cool, uh, all right, so yeah, let's see if we can do this. Oh, do how do owls fly? I mean, like with their wings, right? But like, um, do owls have like a a different wing pattern, or do they basically just like? Is it just the usual? I should like check out a video of like owl flying. Uh. Uh. Oh, sorry. I'm just gonna switch to face cam for a second. Uh, cause I don't know if I'm supposed to be showing. I never know what I am and am not supposed to be showing on, uh, on, uh, on stream, so I apologize for having to, like, oh, I think I've seen this video before. It's super slow motion. It's like an owl just, like, fanning its wings. All right. Yeah, there's nothing so crazy different about, because I know, like, I don't know, owls just, like, have, like, a different sort of look, and, uh, I wasn't sure, like, the extent to which, like, their physiology was literally different, such that, like, their their actual flight patterns would be, would have changed, but I think, like, I think it's, uh, probably mostly fine. Uh, or it shouldn't be too complicated to render. Uh, alright, so, uh, 
Actually, I might not make the owl flap very much. Which is to say the owl wouldn't flap at all. I might make it so it just, like, adjusts its wings. It just kind of, like, chills. And, like, soars next to you. Which doesn't make complete sense, because, like, if the owl never flaps its wings, like, how does that work? But, uh... <laughs> I don't know. Owls look cool when they're soaring. So it'll probably be, like, a very subtle sort of wing movement, I think. Uh, this will probably be, like, pretty close to, like, one of the frames of animation. Uh, it might be a little hard to render the wingspan. Uh, if it's, like... Because this will be, like, running, like, straight towards and away from the camera. But I think it's worth trying. So, all right, let's, uh, let's give this a shot. See, see how far we get with this. Uh, all right, so the, uh, the color of the owl is going to be... Oh, wow, that's technically a light blue color. Weird. All right, so now I'll, I'll uh... I'll kind of go, like, the, the cream color of the owl will kind of be between, like, the yellow and the white color here. Uh, so let's go, like, just a very light version of this, like a very desaturated version of this, maybe. Uh, with bright, bright, relatively quite bright, too. Uh, so, like, yeah, maybe something like this. Uh, uh, let's see what this looks like. Uh, uh, doop -doop. So, uh... So yeah, what, what's going to make this an owl? Like, what's going to sell this as an owl and not just, like, a bird? Uh, the face, for one. And uh, and then, so the so the wing situation is going to be, like, what? It's going to be, like, uh, like this, I guess. Uh, and then, the, oh, yeah, the owls have, like, a tail, too. So, like, uh, <laughs> not much detail to work with there, but, like, uh, so then, uh, the darker tone will be a little more saturated than this. Uh, uh, doop -doop. so let's go with a smaller brush. And then, uh, yeah, oh yeah, so what did I, what was the owl? Yeah, very, oh, I guess that owl, huh. Yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but it's basically, like, right, so owls have, like, they have a very light-colored face, and then they have, uh, uh, I have, uh, sometimes light, light feathering. Alright, that's, that's too dark. Uh, uh, so let's go brighter than that. Uh, not that bright, though. Uh, like this? It's closer? Yeah, this is closer. Alright, um... So yeah, so, oh, I should be drawing this on separate layer. Uh, so yeah, can I sell the face as an owl? Let's find out. Uh, <laughs> not like that. <laughs> but I probably can. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I also have like the, I have like a little pointy... It's vaguely owl like. And I will for the uh for like the beak and stuff and the eyes I will uh go with like a, a darker tone. That's like owl like. Oh they don't have very big beaks. It's like kinda little beaks. Uh oops. Uh yeah, hold on. Very petite little beak. Uh, <laughs> well, not like that, but all right, that could be that could be roughly okay. Uh, all right, so this uh, the yeah, so the wings uh, will definitely need more shape than they have right now. Uh, <laughs> oh, and they don't like connect like that. The uh, yeah, wait, hold on, let's look at owls from the side. All right, so oh yeah, the, so the owl has way more neck than I'm giving it. Uh, so, yeah, let's go back down to this layer, uh, and, uh, oh, cool, <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the mad scientist, uh, uh, wait, yeah, the, I also have a good amount of neck, like, if you see where the wings, like, emerge from this silhouette, like, they're really, 
They're really pulled back. They're really far down. Uh, although I guess that's... I need to see more pictures of them from the side, I guess. Because, like, their shoulders, like, here, we, their shoulders can also, like, get very much hunched up. So... Uh, huh, that's interesting. Maybe I should do the coloration more like this. Like, mostly dark, darker form, but with, like, the lighter face. Maybe that would be easier. Uh, so, yeah, what if, uh, oops, darker than that. Uh, yeah, what if this was, like, uh, Mostly darkened. Now, I'll probably want to pick a slightly different color than this. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh man, I feel like I'm like having like not my my best uh, drawing day. I feel like I've had much better. I've had days where I've drawn much better than this. Uh, but whatever. <laughs> Oops. Too far. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. I went. I went. Wait. I went in way too much detail on the face. So I'm. I'm not. I'm not literally changing my mind. I'm just starting over. Uh, I'm. I'm just starting the. Uh, the. I'm just basically gonna redraw exactly what I just drew. I'll consider that one. That was like the prototype, and enough of it worked out that I'm. I'm content to proceed with like, another draft of it. But uh, right. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, so, right, so, big round face, that's, like, that's, like, key number one. Big round face on the owl. Oh, yeah, I should pick a better color now that I'm picking the color again. It's, like, slightly more saturated, I guess. Uh, I mean, I guess this is, like, quite a departure from the, uh, the tone that we were using for the, uh, the emblem on the, and the trim on the, uh, I was speaking of failed prototypes. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Uh, alright, so, this is, like, the rough torso shape of the owl, or, like, the rough body shape of the owl. Uh, it's like, kind of like a seal. Uh, and then, let's, uh, let's give it, uh, yeah, what, what would its wings? There's, like, huh, it's tough, because, like, I kind of want the wings to basically, like, well, I could, uh, I could cheat it, and I could, like, I can make it so that, like, they come forward a little bit. Like, I can make the wings, like, come more like that. Oh, that might be, yeah, that might be clearer to render. Uh, alright, and so then they definitely uh, aren't quite as thick. Uh, I should probably draw these on separate layers, too. So that way uh, I can get the shape of the body and the wings, like, correct relative, or independent of each other. Uh, oops, I forgot, I lost my cream color. Uh, wasn't that hard to make, though. It's just like, uh, a little bit like this, like so. And then, uh, oh yeah, it's over there. Uh, alright, uh, like that, and then... Gosh, I also have such interesting coloration. It's gonna be really hard to replicate. Because, <laughs> uh, like, on this one, like, the owl has, like, it has, like, light streaks across the fronts of the wings. I don't know. Uh, I wonder if there's, like, a general, like, owl coloration that. that's easier to convey, or, like, more more straightforward. Um, they're just so cool, is all. Just really cool, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, Alright, um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I will draw this stuff on separate layers. Just otherwise, uh, otherwise it's gonna be like impossible to actually uh, get them all to work together or get them all right at the same time. Uh, so, all right. 
So the torso would be like so. So it's gonna be <laughs> it's just gonna be a sausage for starters. <laughs> it's a little owl sausage. Uh uh they have like kind of like a heart shaped face a little bit. And then um actually I guess they like they, they it seems like they have uh like they they kind of have like a chin, but then they also like the lighter coloration it seems like in general it tends to follow down the uh the underside as well. I mean not like for literally all of them, but for a lot of them that seems to be the case. Um Alright, so then uh using darker tone uh and a new layer let's put in the eyes a smaller brush of course uh uh not like that <laughs> uh uh and the beak yeah the beak is not nearly as dark the beak is is a much lighter tone actually so it's very subtle too. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah, here we go. Uh all right. Uh what happened to the fox? I just want to see the fox. Alright, yeah, just in terms of like level of detail. And like how how precise to get with a lot of this stuff. Uh oh yeah, so one thing, the uh the beak is too far back. And still too big. It's supposed to be very subtle. Uh this owl looks a little bit angry. Uh oops. It's not an improvement. Oops. Still not an improvement. Uh, the eyes are too wide from each other. They're like too wide apart. Uh, the head is too exaggerated. Oh, the head is, uh, it doesn't come down to a point. It's, uh, yeah, and it comes too far out. Uh, I might want to skip the, uh, like, the notched forehead point piece, because that, uh, oh, okay, wait, no, I know what else is wrong, is, uh, the, the face is in the wrong position, oops, uh, yeah, no, you wouldn't see, uh, you actually wouldn't see this eye, basically. Uh, and, right, and so the beak is actually way in the wrong position, and this eye is in the way in the wrong position. Alright, hold on, let's try that again. Uh, uh, That's better. And then, uh, still too high. No. Uh, <laughs> alright, whatever. I'm just gonna use a smaller brush. I try not to use a smaller brush, but this is not gonna go great without it, so. Uh,. Uh, I'm just gonna use like a weird color for the beak, for starters. Like, I can't, cause I can't even see it. Like, I can't. I'm like, the beak is just like disappearing and it's like messing up the shape of the face. So, like, I mean, that's not, it's not gonna be like that, but like, uh, at least now I can see it. <laughs> see where I'm putting it. Uh,. Should probably be a lighter color. The cream color is, is a little too saturated or a little too deep. Uh it should be like Yeah, it should be lighter than that. Uh so with a wider brush. Let's go. 
and uh, and lighten that up a touch. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, what is the? Oh, the shape of the face is not the right like roundness. It's like more round. Not quite like that though. Oh, and yeah, the eye. Right. Okay. So you'd only see right. Okay. So that's the other thing that's wrong with the eye, is you'd only see like the edge of it, but you would see feathers extending out. Oops. Uh, you would see feathers extending out beyond it. Uh, yeah, I need to, I need to use a shade of, sh I need to use a shading tone on the face too, because otherwise I'm just, it's going to be like impossible to convey the, uh, the depth that's going on here. Uh, <laughs> um, believe it or not, we're, we're making progress. Uh, <laughs> Uh, all right, so yeah, let's get that other tone for the uh, the cream, which I guess will be a separate layer. Separate layer. I probably I might just ditch the parrot. Wait, actually, yeah. So I'm just gonna, cause I'm I'm really confident in the parrot not being the way that we're going with this. I'm going to uh, I'm just gonna export it. I don't know if I'm ever gonna do anything with it, but for now. Uh, I'm just gonna squish it, pack it up, ship it out. Uh, oops. Uh, thank you, Parrot. You served well. Uh, <laughs> sort of. Uh, okay. Paste that. Uh, save that <laughs> as uh, uh, equipment <laughs> familiar parrot. Uh, I'll just save it as zero. Um, I'm not gonna like give it data or anything. Uh, uh, That link, Marty, is fantastic. I have I have seen it once before, but I have to reshare that because that is <laughs> oh, it's just so true, so true. <laughs> um, that was that was Marty's link, the one that I just reshared. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> parrot, sad parrot. Um, I'm really tempted to just uh to just go work on like. Well, actually, this, I guess this is how I was feeling yesterday with, uh, when I was working on, uh, when I was working on writing yesterday, I, like, I hit this part where I was like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore, I want to do anything else other than this, but I didn't, I stuck with it, and eventually I got to the part where I was, like, enjoying it again, so maybe I just have to do that with, uh, with this owl, I just have to get over that hump, because then, like, I mean, now I actually, like, want to draw more, right? So I, I did eventually, like, get over it, and, uh, I got to a point where I was, like, actually quite content and, like, enjoying it, and, and I wanted to keep going. So, so much so that I, I want to go right back to it, like, right now. I want to be, I want to be writing more events right now. Uh, alright, so... Wait, what? Oh, someone on the right layer. No, wait, no, that was the right layer. Whoa, no, what the heck layer is that? Oh, is that, like, some new layer that I just added to... Right, that was the new layer that I just added to shade the... Yep, okay. Uh, Alright, so I won't worry too much about the... the, uh, the shape of the uh, belly, or whatever. Um, Alright, owl sausage. I don't think this is quite the right shape for owl sausage, because owls are, like, really... They're, like, puffy and round, like, during... Uh, like, when they're perched, but they, they like, kind of... They kind of get... They kind of, like elongate and get a little leaner when they're in flight, so, uh, what is it, hmm, what does it look like when an owl, okay, so it's, also it's feet, I don't have its feet in yet, its feet are going to be back, right, uh, but I, they, they exist, feet are, feet exist, 
Okay, so if an owl was like of this coloration, roughly, what would its what color would its legs be? Uh, I mean, I kind of okay, so probably lighter colored because this owl I think is closest to the coloration of what we're doing. I mean, this owl isn't even. Yeah, no, I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of variety in the coloration of owls. Today I learned. Uh, <laughs> So, hey, congratulations to uh, to those of you who leveled up. Good job. <laughs> I just saw out of the corner of my eye, I saw the, uh, the flash, the flashing, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, all right, so yeah, we'll go with the lighter tone, let's say. Uh, just like, yeah, it's, it's subtle, but just like that. Uh, and then I guess they have little feet too, right? So we'll use the same color as the beak. Which actually, I was just basically using this color. I don't know if that makes sense. It's not, it might not be the most uh, scientifically accurate. Uh, <laughs> this isn't like a this isn't like an owl sausage as much as like an owl torpedo now, because it's like basically I'm trying to make the uh, the owl. Uh, Oh, I think I should bring that up a little bit. I think I made the oh yeah 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 I, I uh, like I was saying the, I made the uh, the owl a little too chubby. Uh, so I draw that I just I think I drew that all in the same layer, didn't I? Yeah, it's whatever. That's fine though. Um, let's just uh bring the feet like back and up a little bit. Oops, wrong layer. Uh, it's like uh. It's like that, I guess. And then I'll, I'll, I should change the tail feathers, too. The tail feathers will probably animate. Um, like, in, in the two different frames, they'll be... Like, they'll, they'll be just, like, adjusting slightly. Because that's, like... I don't know if you've ever seen, like, a still position of a bird in flight. It's, like... It's feathers just, like, go, like... They, like... They literally... Like, they're all just, like, constantly, like, shifting and dancing. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll include at least some of that in the... Uh, in the animation here. Uh, all right, so deselect. Uh, uh, whoa, what layer? What? What layer am I drawing on? Why am I drawing on that layer? It's weird. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, here we go. See, we're getting places. We're doing better. I don't mind this owl as much as I did when I started on it. <laughs> uh, right. I mean, I shouldn't say that before I draw the wings, because the wings are actually going to be the hard part. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, Oh yeah, wait. This, so the tail feathers should actually be fit, shaped like this a little bit because the way that I set them up uh, should be it would fan out. I guess kind of like that. Although, yeah, no, that's that's fine. So, is there actually any like of the lighter color on those? I think not. No, I'll just leave them darker. Uh, I'll just use the the lighter color for highlighting where I need it. And so yeah, so again with the sausage shape, like I think I, I think the f the flight sausage is a little too sausagey. Like I think uh, I think the main reason no yeah so the re the reason owls look this puffy, I'm pretty sure is not because they're actually this puffy. I'm pretty sure it's because when their wings are folded up, they they feel that puffy. That blah blah, blah. they seem that puffy. Uh, <laughs> raised owl sausage <laughs> sounds delicious. <laughs> I could go for some owl sausage right about now, because I, uh, my tumbly is a bit grumbly, but I'll survive. Uh, alright, so I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to, I'm going to try these wings. I don't know how it's going to go, but, uh, we'll see. Uh, alright, uh, so, I'll use a thicker brush for starters. Uh, that might be...
might be okay, but let's put in the other ring as well. Uh, wait, what's layer 23? Layer 23 is nothing. I'm not using layer 20. Oh, layer 23 is where the, the parrot came from. Uh, layer 33 is the one I just added. Yeah. Uh, cause I'm going to, whoops. Wait, wait, oh, I'm using an R tool. Cause I'm going to try and draw owl's wing on it. How's this gonna look? I like, I mean, I think really, like in actuality, it should actually come back like this. So maybe I should just draw it like that. But like, I'm kind of trying to cheat it. I was thinking like I could cheat it and like draw it more like this. That might be okay. Uh, and I'll, I will define like the the owl's head, so like it won't just look like it. <laughs> right now, it looks like. Uh... <laughs> Why not just leave it as an owl torpedo? <laughs> Alright, maybe I won't make much changes, but, uh, maybe I'll, uh, yeah, maybe I'll just be, be very subtle with things. No, right, right now, this reminds me of not, um, not a, an owl with two wings. This reminds me of an owl with one wing and then, like, a pompadour, like a big, like, fawn sty fawnsy style, uh, <laughs> so I was gonna leave it like this, I'd have to, I'd need some, uh, hey, Bengalinksy, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, so I definitely need to do something on the, uh, uh, <laughs> well, I hope this isn't too offensive, because it's probably going to end up something like this, um, pompadour and all, uh, I don't know, I think this, I, like, I'm, I'm, this, I'm getting a better vibe from this than I am from the previous, uh, stuff, oh, and you know what else is, we don't need to have this, like, ghastly purple color going on anymore. We can go back to, like, having, like, a more naturalistic green color in the background. Because, uh, like, I never really intend on making a background in the game that color, so it, it doesn't really make sense to, like, compare things to that color. Uh, hold on. That's not quite right. Uh, let's go with... Uh, oh, it's too... It's too dark. A little too dark. Let's go with, like... Somewhere like that. Uh, yeah, because then the other thing is, like, there are these these edges that I wouldn't even have noticed these edges very much because they were subtle against the purple background. So uh, now some of this will pop out a little bit more and it'll be easier to to tune up. Uh, so, for example, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name these layers just so that I... Because, like, they have a lot of layers now. So this is a back wing. Uh, this is torso, yeah, this is, uh, torso, uh, this is, this should be, f oh yeah, so this is, a uh, light torso, uh, this is front wing, uh, <laughs> flappy days, <laughs> perfect, <laughs> Hey! <laughs> uh, what layer is this? Oh, this is the layer that I put in. Oh, because I was going to do shading, and I didn't do shading. Uh, and this layer is, like, detail. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, I should do shading, but I'm, I'm not actually worried about that shading right now. Actually, what I want to add in is a new layer. I'll just use this layer for it. Uh, yeah, I, I want to put in a darker tone of this color... Uh, so that, that I can use for, uh, for separation. Oops. Oh, wrong tool. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, right. Like, uh... Huh. What do I want to do here? I'm going to just keep the wings dark in color. I'm going to just keep it like that. Like, I was going to do, like, the... Well... No, I guess I might still highlight the, uh, I'll just do the entire dark, I'll just do the entire back wing in a darker tone. Right. Yeah. And I just won't add much detail to it. Uh, so actually, yeah, just, I'm just gonna merge these layers together. Uh, and, yeah, cause, like, the, the stuff in the background, like, it kind of sinks into the background by, by having less detail and by having, uh, 
not as much. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically going to be the the owl pompadour. I'm probably not going to touch it much after this. Uh. <laughs> Um, all right, I, I will though. I will come back in on the uh, the front wing and add in a layer to do detailing to set this apart from the torso a little bit because I think like well for one thing, oops, wrong color. Uh, for one thing, the the under wing should be shaded, and that shading should also happen on the tail a little bit. I should probably not use the same layer for both of these. Well, no, I guess, no, it doesn't really hurt to use the same layer for both these things. Because uh, they're, kind of, they're pretty separate. Uh, yeah, oh, right, oh, yeah, and it's also, yeah, like I said, uh, the torso has a lot of cruft around the edges from where I didn't notice that it, it was contrasting against the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, whatever, <laughs> that other stuff. Uh, okay, so, um, alright, let's, uh, let's refine this, because that's the wrong shape. Oops, wrong layer. Uh, so let's use a smaller brush, I guess. Nope, smaller, not bigger. Uh, let's also look at this a little bit closer. Uh, um, so yeah, so how... How finely detailed am I going to get with this? Uh, like, what else am I going to do with this owl, really? Besides just like, so I, I definitely have to finish. I have to finish adding the volume and rendering and detailing. But like, what is the detailing going to look like? I guess is. I don't necessarily have to figure that out right now, but like, it'd be nice to know it up front. So like, for example, um, if I was going to do something like. Uh, this on the wings, like, am I? I could. I could even do, like, I don't know, something like that. Like, is that better? Or is that worse? It's kind of hard to say. Uh, what if, so what if I did go that way? Would it, um, would it literally just be, like, this disconnected little patches, or would, like, the, uh, would the coloration actually connect? would actually like come up like that. Uh, that looks weird all of a sudden. I think it looked better before I did that. I think if I did, yeah, so I think if I did do this, like, I mean, there might be, maybe there's a little more uh, uh, sense to it. Maybe it doesn't just come out of like nowhere, but like, I don't think it connects. It would just be like, this doesn't look so bad. And then whatever uh, whatever color I come up with for the uh, the darker tone here. So like when I, I'm sorry, I just need to move like my tablet a little bit. It's like half off the table, and, and if I rest my hand on it the wrong way, it like starts to fall off. Uh, so yeah, I could just go with uh, so yeah, whatever this darker tone is. Uh, oops, hold on, let's draw this on. Let's add another new layer for this darker tone. So the uh, oops, is that too many new layers? No. Uh, right, this one goes here, and it's like, so yeah, so this is like the, the darker tone for the face, uh, not quite so aggressive, <laughs> uh, there we go, actually, no, that was okay. Let's, uh, carve that out, and then, um, actually, not quite as much there. Uh, yeah, so, uh, so this is the darker tone, then this is, I guess, the tone that we would use on the, uh, the, oh, yeah, so, wait, how did I, I drew that in really fast and sloppily, and I should not have drawn this on this layer. Uh, I should have used a layer down here, uh, and I should have drawn it with this tone, uh, so it'd be like, I feel like that. I think this is pretty good. This is going pretty okay. Uh, my tablet looks like this. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> hey Marty, were you here when I uh, 
Were you here when I, uh, oh yeah, so this is my tablet. Yeah, look, I can't show the back, well, if I show the back of it, I think it gets hit by the chroma key, right? Because it's a bright green color. Is that visible or does that look weird? Oh no, it's visible. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's my tablet. It's nothing fancy, it's just, uh, you know, it's just very simple, very, does the job. Uh, oh yeah, Marty, uh, I don't know if you were here when I, when I, uh, when I made the, uh, the, the event, uh, that we just, that just happened, but, um, the blah blah root plant was literally named because I was like, um, here, wait, I'll reenact it, this will be my dramatic reenactment, um, I was like, so it was like, it was like, you know, it was like, so there's like the event text, and it was like, I was like, and so, what was it, it was like, uh, remedy from the, and then I was like, I was like, I was just coming up with like, what's the, what, it comes from nature, like it's, there's like a plant or something, and so like, I was like, all right, well, hold on, I'll come back to that, it's, it's a root plant, uh, and then I, you know, I went on and I, I wrote the, the rest of the, the quest, and then I, this is literally the, the, how I came up with that. I was like, all right, so no, I need to, I need to fill in this word. I need like, I need a description for this, for this whatever. I need to, because it has to be like remedy for the blah blah root plant. And I was like, actually, that sounded okay. And I, so instead of instead of literally making it, uh, uh, blah blah <laughs> root plant, I decided to make it the blah blah root plant. <laughs> so, yep, that's what that that's what that is. So if you if you're curious to know what the blah blah root plant is, it's uh, it's what happens when I get lazy with naming conventions. All right, I like this owl. Wonderful news, everyone. I like this owl. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not done, but I like I like the direction it's going, and it's actually not far from done. It's getting there. All right, there's too much there's too much of this uh, detailing on the wing. I don't think it should go past the uh, the wrist. Uh, but then I, I, I do need to do more detailing with respect to the feathering, I think. Because, like, here on the tail, like, this is not resolved correctly. Uh, what is... Oh, yeah, okay, so it's, like, it's because uh, the shape of this... Uh, what layer is that? The light torso... Above the light torso layer. Uh, the shape of this, I think it's supposed to come... Wait, what the heck? layer is this? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, no. So it'd be, uh... Where did I draw that? Oh, I drew it above the wing. It's this layer. No, it's the layer below that. Okay, it's this layer, yeah. <laughs> so, right, this, uh... This shade... What the heck? Oh, I'm, I'm on the wrong layer. I found the right layer, I just didn't get to it. I just didn't go to it. Alright, uh... Yeah, because, like, what I'm trying to depict with the, uh with the tail is like, oh, actually, yeah, and it doesn't help that I messed up the, I messed this up too, um, yeah, no, what I'm trying to depict with that is not that shape, it's supposed to be more like a, I mean, I guess it's kind of that shape, but it's supposed to be more like a, I was trying to go for, uh, for like a, yeah, so it comes back, like so, and it fans out. So I guess this, yeah, this can be mostly dim in coloration. But then, like, in terms of the uh, the shape of it, it's supposed to be, like, kind of fanned down. So... It's kind of like that, I guess, is how I was picturing it. Uh, I don't know if that even reads. I don't even know if it makes, I don't even know if it makes sense for the tail feathers to be, like, this other tone. And I definitely don't think that looks good. I don't think that's an improvement over how it had been. So should I just get... Maybe I should just get rid of that. Uh, I mean, I def if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do something like that, I definitely shouldn't do it like... Oh, wait, no, I know what I'll do. I'll do... Oops, yeah, I'm... Whoops, oh, I drew that in the wrong layer. I was like, why did it look so weird when I erased it? I was like, yeah, no, it'd be like that. Or, like, uh... No, what I should do is... If I'm gonna do something like that, I should use... Uh, wait, what? Uh, should be like, uh, should be like, uh, a stripe across. And like, yeah, because like, if you look at like this image, for example, like the, the tips of the tail, the tips of the feathers aren't like the, uh, 
the lighter part. It's like there's like, I don't know. I mean, this is a very different coloration, so that's probably not the best example to use, but like, I don't know. I was looking at something like that. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like the, it seems like the tips of the feathers are the darker part. So, yeah, so if anything, it'd be more like that. Uh, do, I, do I like that or do I? That's not bad. I don't mind that. Uh, yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, okay, yeah, and like I s oh, I, uh, yeah, I did not resolve the, uh, shading well at all. So this, uh, this that we've got going on here needs to change. <laughs> Although, you know, there can be some shading on the underbelly, just, uh, not as much as there was there. Uh, all right, and then, uh, do we need shading any other way? I guess, uh, no, yeah, the face, face is okay. Face is good. Uh, yeah, so I think at this point it's basically just detailing. Uh, by detailing, I mean getting the, uh, the wings to be feather made out of feathers and not just, like, lumps of whatever. Uh, so, oops, that's the wrong layer. Uh, let's, uh, let's go to front wing, and actually let's go in first with, with the lighter tone, uh, because you can probably accomplish pretty much all of this using the lighter tone, because these are the, these are the feathery wing tips that we're doing here, and, uh, or the, fe the, the, the feathery tips of the, yeah, of the wings, like the feathery edges, and so those ones aren't going to, even when viewed from below, like, they're not going to be as, uh, uh, <laughs> on a scale from one ugly to ten sexy, how attractive do I think I am? <laughs> I think I think I could. I think I could. I could. I think I could qualify as like a six, or maybe like high six, low seven. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm like I'm okay. I'm not. I'm not. I think I, I think I do okay. I think I'm all right. Uh, <laughs> um, I might be delusional though. Uh, all right, those feathers are okay. They're too. They're too. They're too like. Uh, they're they're too rounded, because like I was using a very round brush to draw them in, and so I need to come back and and and, uh, make them a little sharper. Uh, and also they were very noticeable, so, yeah, a little more subtle is fine as well. Uh, and so now I should, I should, so, right, so I'm not going to, like, color those feathers in completely darkly shaded, but the dark shading layer that we have here do, is now too blunt. Like, it's too, whoops, ah, clone stamp tool, my nemesis, my nemesis. Uh, go away. Uh, it's too, uh, it just doesn't follow any form. It doesn't, it doesn't seem connected to the other part. So I'm going to go in, uh, I don't want to use a smaller brush. Uh, so I'm just going to very carefully kind of trying to like mirror that, that general, general shape. Uh, and oh yeah, I'm just going on here with the wing. I feel like it, hmm. Which, which layer is that? Is that the wing or is that the torso? Or is that both? I guess it's both. I'm gonna cheat it a little bit. I'm gonna shave the wing up a little bit just so that the wing and the torso separate slightly. Uh, uh, so the, the color that I'm using to shade the lighter tone of the bird is not dark enough. So this layer here, I need to, I need to make this tone darker. Uh, then this might be too dark. This might be okay. Uh, that's definitely darker. Oops. Uh, <laughs> you show those ducks what's you show those ducks who's boss, Jorisk. Uh, uh, 
That might be a little too much. Now that it's darker, I might I might want to be a little more sparing with it. Uh, but then it also goes back here. Uh, actually, that one didn't look... The back wing didn't look so bad with the lighter tone. Although technically it's the middle tone that no longer exists, but whatever. Uh, Alright, yeah, that's better. I can... Um, I can, uh, I can work with this. I just need to reshape it a little bit because it is so much darker than it was a minute ago. Uh, just need to pull it, whoops, wrong there. I just need to pull it back a bit. Uh, just a little bit. Uh, and the other thing is that I can, uh, well actually, yeah, so I shouldn't pull it back all the way because the last thing to do is to very carefully detail the face now, because the face is going to, uh, is going to have a little extra, a little extra something, it's gonna, it's gonna, okay, I, it was okay how it was before, but I want it to be very owl shaped, I want it to be, it to be a very distinctly owl, sh owl face, I don't want there to be any ambiguity as to what creature this is. Um, owl faces have a little bit of a, a little bit of this going on, a little, like a just slight little like chin strap sort of situation. Uh, it's kind of like that. Right now, this owl is way too jowly. Uh, it's gonna be kind of like this. Oops! I don't know what did I do? What have I done? Uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty much like that. And then, alright, so on this layer, uh, the darker tone, uh, you guys, oh, Ruffendorf, hey, how's it going, welcome. I'm in Russia, hey, how's it going, welcome. Uh, <laughs> uh, things are going well today. We're making owls. We tried to make a parrot, but the parrot just didn't want to happen. And so we decided, well, we don't need you to stink and parrot, parrot, right? Parrots, <laughs> parrots, right? Am I right? <laughs> no, we just, uh, so we switched gears and we started drawing owls instead. We've been drawing this owl for a little while. And then we're going to do some storytelling and, well, I don't know what's, I don't know what comes next after the owl, but, uh, yeah, for now we're just, uh, making the owl. 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 Oh yeah, okay, so pulled back, the legs of the owl are very indistinct, so let's fix that. Uh, I might even use some of the darker tone to really make the legs clear as to what they are, because I think right now it just looks like the torso is a bit like smudgy or whatever, so I think I'm going to introduce a touch of, oh wait, what layer is this? I should use a different layer. Uh, yeah, I'll use, I'll use this layer. Yeah, just to get the legs to pop out a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Although that, I think, is too low. Slightly too low. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, protospasm. Are, protospasm, are you like actually like a small team of writers that sit around like what are, what's the best pun we could come up with for this one and like you have a, you have like a you have like a board that you uh everyone's like shouting out ideas <laughs> i honestly don't know how you come up with this stuff you're very clever is what i'm trying to say uh okay uh so it's pretty good uh except there's a little too much uh, oh yeah, that, okay, that was the other thing that's messing up the, the, the silhouette in the back is I, um, I brought the tail too far back. So what layer is the tail shading on? It's on this layer. Yeah, I, I brought this shading too far back. It should come up a little more. It should still follow, like, it shouldn't, it should still, like, follow the curvature of the back end of the owl. What is what is that end of an owl shape like? <laughs> um, hmm. 
I mean, I guess I'm, I'm kind of showing the feet, but it looks like the, the owls actually seem to, like, really kind of tuck up their feet. Well, no, that's, that's, uh, I think that's about how I'm doing it. Uh, that, that all has huge tail feathers, though. Yeah, it's, it's a little more trim. I still, like, the back end of this owl is still is not, is not trim enough. I'm like, I was trying to resolve this space in here, and I was like, why? Like, something's not quite right. Um, alright, so I'm actually going to, uh, what layer did I draw this on? I guess it's kind of drawn on both of these layers. So I'll have to separately move these up. I think I'm going to do basically what I did before. I'm going to move them up and back one more, one further pixel. Oops. <laughs> Not like that. Uh, so deselect. Oops, no, deselect. Uh, so for the light torso layer, I'm going to pull this uh, uh, up a little bit more because it's just more trim and pull it back a little bit as well because it's a little more elongated too. Uh, all right, so deselect. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, all right, and then let's connect that again because it looks a little weird when it's broken. As such. Uh, oh yeah, and then uh, so on this other layer, we had a little bit of detailing that is relevant uh, to what we just changed. So oh yeah, so for for this part, I'll, oops. For, for the back part, I'll just like trim it, just dial it back a little bit. Wait, do I even need to, I don't even need to do it that much. What am I trying to accomplish there? No, that's, that's fine. Uh, but then yeah, so for this other little, uh, this, I, I drew this little, uh, this is like supposed to be what, sep like this is supposed to be the patch of feather between the legs, and now that, since I moved the legs, I should move Let's move that as well. Uh, there we go. Uh, uh, yeah, because the, uh, like we were saying before, the, uh, the owl is, is actually fairly slender in flight. I feel like. So we started with a very, a meaty owl sausage, and, uh, uh, it was a little too much before. Uh, also, yeah, to emphasize like the shape of the face, I think we can bring uh, we can bring these feathers up slightly. Uh, uh, and like so. Uh, I should just redraw some of that because some of that is definitely like I've I've I was I was using too small of a brush, yeah, and some of that some of those lines I've just redrawn them so many times that it got a little bit shaky. But uh, so let's just uh, let's just smooth this out, just by which I mean get rid of a lot of it and then basically like smooth it back in, smooth it out a little more. And, uh, yeah, and then the, the shading layer is definitely like that as well. Definitely got a bit herky. So I think that was this layer here. So let's just, let's just actually start over on that. Actually seeing it without that layer actually helps, uh, draw this layer back in as well. It's like general shape. Yeah. I don't want it to be too, too beefy around the neck. Like I always have like. You know they have a lot of feathers around here, right? But it's not like they don't. It's not like it's not like it's not like you know too too much. All right. Uh, uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, I'm drawing that on the wrong layer. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And then go back and pull it back a little bit. That should be about right. Yeah, that's better. Nice and smooth and sleek. It's ha uh, huh. Okay, it lost a little bit of its owliness. It, like it almost look it's almost looking a little eagle eagly. So uh I think I need to emphasize the uh I think it's because I lost some of the emphasis around the uh the jawline. 
or like I guess I mean it's not it's not a jaw, but it's like whatever this whoops, uh, whatever this line is uh, that comes out down around the face. So I'm gonna go back to the smaller brush. Oops, wrong layer. I'm gonna go back to the smaller brush just to just to reemphasize that shape because I think that's what, that's like a lot of what really sells the owl. That is what separates the owls from the non-owls, or <laughs> whatever. Sounds less dumb there. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess owls do technically have jaws, right? I mean, they, have, they just have jaws that connect to beaks instead of jaws that connect to... Wait, do they? Is there, like, actually a bone that connects to the beak? Or is the beak, like, its own... No, it must connect to bone. Because... No, wait, fingernails don't connect to bone. Fingernails just connect to flesh. And beaks are like fing... I have no clue. I have no clue. Uh... <laughs> Little children. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, hey, Bajian, how's it going? Welcome. Uh... <laughs> the chow <laughs> Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh yeah, I um, I could roll that back. The reason the reason that word is censored, uh, Amish, is because people tend to use it uh, like as to, to, as emphasis. So, yeah, uh, I I like I used to have a much stricter chat filter, or like I used to impose a fairly strict chat filter, just because I used to have the chat showing up on screen. And since I don't have chat showing up on screen anymore, I could I could I could relax it a little bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, is there? There are things I'm inclined to do, but I don't think any of them are necessarily improvements. So I'm probably gonna try and avoid noodling with it much more. Um, I will just try one quick thing. Because I do need to do the other frame of animation, right? I'm not like done, done, but um, I'm I I'm I'm get I'm feeling like a bit done with uh with like the current uh, frame with this frame here. Uh, I might I might just shade the whole underwing, right? I don't know. Of course, then I would want, so I'm, I'm not, I might undo, like, everything I'm about to do, but, uh, if I don't, then what I'll want is, uh, basically, like, this whole undercarriage to be done in, like, the darker tone, I guess. Um, so let's see what that, let's see what that would be like, right? Uh, because so far I've been doing, oops. Shoot, I'm really messy with this. But uh, so far, I've been doing that entirely in uh, in the lighter tone. Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna redraw the feet. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. What, what would what would it be like if we draw that? Do this in the darker tone instead. Maybe, or maybe I could I could draw it like um, largely in the darker tone, and then just like accent it with like a little bit of a uh, of the. Uh, the lighter sound, or actually, how would that look? though? that doesn't look bad. It looks a little, it looks a little too dark. So what if, yeah, what if we just, uh, just like accented it lightly with, uh, with a little bit of, uh, of the lighter tone. Uh, and then, oh yeah, and also, I mean, there should be a touch of it. Uh, uh, what layer do I have? this on. There should be a touch of it here as well. I have strong tool. Uh, right, because like the edge of the tail is in the light. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think I like this. Um, so, yeah. Alright, and I, I got rid of the feet. Not that the feet really matter, but uh, 
I don't know. I thought they were a little cute. So the feet come like move strongly. Uh, what layer am I drawing this on? Uh, the light torso layer. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, look at that. It's an owl. It's owl. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, huh, it was, a. Uh, we got the, uh, disturbing plot against the court, interesting, uh, there's a, um, there's a mechanism that is supposed to prevent quests from coming up again too soon, but I guess... Maybe, yeah, maybe the last time we got that was, if that really was 11 quests ago, then, uh, then I guess that would make sense. No, it definitely wasn't 11 quests ago. I just scrolled up through the chat log, and it was only, like, it's only, like, five quests ago, if even. That's weird. I wonder what's up with that. Uh, oh. No. Yeah, I wonder what's up with that. Uh, sorry, I'm going to take a look at that script real quick, just because, um, I don't know why I would be doing that. I feel like, if anything, uh, I should, in fact, not be doing that. <laughs> so, I'm not going to restart the script right now or anything. I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to put in, uh, hey, uh, Dev Dreaming, I, how many hours do I work per day? It varies. I, um... I try and, I usually do, like, 8 to 10 hours. Uh, but then, it's weird, my schedule, excuse me, my schedule lately has gotten, uh, pretty, um, pretty, just, like, I, I've, I, like, have a bunch of, like, things that I'm juggling that, uh, have been a little bit of a distraction, so, like, I don't always stream, like, 8 to 10 hours every day, because, like, some of the stuff... I'm doing, I either can't show on stream, or I shouldn't show on stream, or, you know, various other reasons, but, um, I have been making at least, like, uh, I've, I have, I've, I have been doing, uh, I think I, ha like, I, for a few weeks, like, I went down to, like, you know, 20, like, the high 20s in terms of how many hours of streaming I did in a given week, but I, other weeks I've, I've made 40 hours or more, um, so I've, I've tried not to let it affect me too much. And then, um, so this big thing that I've been working on for the past, uh, month or month and a half, uh, it's happening in a week and a half. Oh my gosh. It's happening so soon. Um, so once that's done, I'll, I'll be less distracted too. Uh, I'm hosting a panel at PAX East and I'm excited about it and I've never done it before. So I've been, I've just been like really nervous and like, ah. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, after that, it, I'll, I, I, I won't have as many side projects or anything, so I'll, I'll, I'll probably be able to spend more time, uh, streaming. I hope to, I hope, to, like, that's, I'm gonna try and, like, actually get back on a real streaming schedule after, uh, after that wraps up. Uh, <laughs> so, alright, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna just peek at the script, because I don't, like, the, I think, I'm pretty sure the way we set it up, um, Oh, speaking of things, uh, I just want to, I just want to see Joris real, f or, uh, not, sorry, not Joris, uh, Protospasm real fast. Uh, I don't know where Protospasm is, but, um, I mean, I guess it's, I don't have any guarantee that it'll actually show up immediately, but, uh, uh, Protospasm has the quill badge, so, hypothetically, we should see it at some point, and maybe, who knows, maybe we have been seeing it for a while. Uh, oh, whoops, I just realized something. Uh, sorry, my camera is like, yeah, okay. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, okay, um, uh, yeah, PAX East. <laughs> Are you going to PAX East, Marty? Uh, <laughs> um, because if you are, maybe I'll see you there. <laughs> um, uh, 
Right, okay, so this part of the script uh, that, I keep, that I've mentioned a few times, it does what? At the end of the event, we pick a new event based on whether the event starter uh, index next event index. Uh, so we pick, basically we pick a random event. And if that event is in recent events, Oh, no. No, we initialized. I was like, oh, maybe the first one, maybe the first event isn't getting added to recent events. But no, I initialized recent events to contain the, the first event. Um, so if the length of recent events is greater than the length of event starter divided, if, so if, so maybe I shouldn't do divided by two. Maybe I should do, um, yeah, so I'm going to do, I mean, like, whoops, what just happened? I don't see, like, I don't think this... This shouldn't. This wouldn't explain like what we were just seeing, but um, this is another change that I want to make. Uh, I'm actually going to do float uh, equivalent of the length of event starter, and I'm going to do times uh, zero point seven five. So it's actually not going to just wait for half of the events to have been done before. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do hope to stream. Uh, I do. I do hope to stream from the event. I. I haven't heard back yet whether it's going to happen definitely or not, but um, I do hope to. So, yeah, look for uh, look for it online. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this should just work. <laughs> so I don't know why it's not working. Let's see. We're appending next of name to recent events. As soon as we choose it, we're choosing it based on whether... whether uh, the name is in recent events. Hmm. Hmm. I don't get it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I really don't know. But... I don't know, I was using a integer division, so... I don't like using integer division or multiplication or anything. And multiplication is not that bad, but division with integers is just creepy to me. So... Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's not like game breaking or anything. It's just I'd prefer it to work the other way. All right, let's uh let's finish. Whoops, I opened files all of accident. Uh, let's open. <laughs> let's instead of doing that, let's uh let's finish our owl. So I like this. This is, I like this as one frame of the owl animation. Uh, I. I could I could up the contrast a little bit. I could make the the underwing or like the uh, the darker tone of the owl. I could make it a little bit darker, but I'm not. I don't. I don't think that change is like mandatory. I think it's. Uh, I kind of remind. Who is Joey Grasefa? I probably pronounced that name wrong. Hold on, I'm gonna Google that because I don't know who that is. Oh, it's a YouTube person. It's a YouTuber. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'll have to check. I'll have to check that guy out because I've never. I've never seen that before. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Um, hi, Gerald. <laughs> also. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Uh, I hope that's a compliment. I'm going to take that as a compliment. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ilya Studio. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Um, so the other frame, like I mentioned, the other frame of animation is actually not going to be much different than this one. Uh, so what am I going to change, though? Oh, shoot. I should have drawn the wings on a separate layer. Because I did... Uh, what was it? It was for, like, the... For the shading of the wing. I did the tail shading on the same layer. So I should split that off into a separate layer. Because uh, I shouldn't be doing... Uh, 
I should make it so that I, the wings are separate, because the wings are going to be the difference between... Or actually, the tail is also going to be different in the frames of animation, so maybe that's not so bad. Um, so, like, yeah, so what frames are... So what slides are going to stay the same, and what slides are going to change? I guess... Actually, the... Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll just assume for now that the wings are basically all going to change. So the... The wings, the tail feathers. Oops, not that. Uh, oh shoot, where did I draw? Yikes! I'm drawing all this stuff on the wrong layers. But then again, what's new? Uh, I'll probably keep. No, I'll I'll change the back wing too. Yeah. So this is what's this is what's the diff This is what will stay the same, and this is what will change. Oh, whoops! There's a little uh, fleck of something above the owl's head. Uh, let's get rid of that. What layer is that on? Probably the torso layer. Yeah, there we go. Uh, all right, so this is what will stay the same. Oh, not actually. This isn't even everything that will stay the same. The tail is going to change a little bit between layers. So, oh yeah, and the tail as you on the torso layer. It's not going to change that much. Hmm. But yeah, I. Uh, what layer did I draw? What layer is that white fleck on? Okay, it's on that. It's on the light torso layer. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move the tail to a different layer because uh, it's gonna change between the two frames. So uh, probably gonna break my record for number of layers. I have 35 layers right now, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm about to add in another layer. So 35 is my record for most ever layers, and I'm about to bust clean through, unless I've deleted a layer recently. Nope, th layer 36. New record. <laughs> New record for most layers ever. Uh, Alright, what was the uh, what was the layer that had, like, the lighting, the lightness on it? I'm gonna move the, uh, oh, that's why it looked weird. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna move, uh, I'm gonna move, uh, this spec. Oops, no. <laughs> this spec onto uh, this layer. So I'll, I'll new layer above it, paste this on, and then smoosh it down. Deselect. Uh, and I can actually tone it back now that I'm now that I have it on the right layer. It doesn't need to be quite so. Oops, wait. What layer did I just smoosh that onto? Oh, I, I put the layer in the wrong place. Oops. All right. Uh, what layer was it? Is yeah, it was smooshed onto this one. Actually, I'll reshape it before I smoosh it. This is way too big now. The reason I was like, why is this drawing so weird? And it was because it was uh, it was drawing under a bunch of other layers that it was supposed to be drawing over. But yeah, that's uh, that's fine now. Uh, so okay, uh, so keep those together. Uh, well, I was up to thirty-seven layers for a second there. Uh, all right, so hold on, let's put it back together for a second. Oh, I think when I, huh, for some reason when I, uh, separated the tail layers, it, um, put a slight break in the, in the body there, so, uh, let me just fix that real quick. Uh, there we go. Uh, so now, yeah, that does now connect better. Uh, okay. Uh, cool. So now, uh, right, so now we have that, uh, we could export that layer right now. Or, oops, yeah, we don't need to see the fox right now. Uh, we could export the image as it is, but, uh, no, instead I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate these layers, and, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna duplicate these layers, and then, uh, and then adjust them slightly, right? So that way, because I don't want it to be a dramatic change. Yeah, and actually, like this layer, for example, like that actually can stay. I don't need I don't need two versions of that because the the other layer isn't going to change so much that uh, it's basically going to be like like there's going to be a slight change in the elevation of the wings, and then the feathers are all going to reposition. And so, like when the wings are slightly up, the tail is going to be slightly down, and then when the wings come slightly down, the tail is going to come slightly up. I think is how it's gonna go. 
Uh, okay, so, uh, so right, let's duplicate uh, the back wing layer. Oops, nope, that's, that was not duplicate, that was, <laughs> that was merge. Where's duplicate? There's duplicate. Alright. Uh, so I'll call this back wing zero. Uh, and uh, it's going to be, so actually, yeah, so the new one, the, so back wing zero will be the old one. Uh, I'll make that a little bit I'll lower the opacity, and then uh, that way I can, I can still see the old shape when I'm working on the new one. And like the new one is gonna be like for the, for this back wing, it's gonna be kind of like just reduced slightly. It's gonna be like coming down a bit more. Uh, actually, kind of a bit more, like a noticeable bit more. So maybe I do have to redo the uh, the banding. Uh, it was just like oops, too thin. Too thin a brush. Uh, oh, there's more cruft on the the torso layer. Wait, where's the torso layer? What did I do to the torso layer? Where'd the torso layer go? Oh, that's the oh, that's the torso layer. Uh, yeah, there's just a little cruft here. Uh, whatever. Alright, uh, so back wing. So yeah, so the new back wing, I guess, kind of looks like that, maybe? The old one looks like... Oh no, whoops! Oh, crepes! <laughs> accidentally erased from the wrong layer when I was trying to get rid of that stuff. Uh, uh, here we go. Alright, uh, this layer was the one that had the cruft on it. No, wait, no. Not that layer. This layer is the one that had the craft on it. No, wait, what was it? Oh, was it? Wait, that wasn't the back wing layer, was it? Oh, the back wing layer has that on it. Oh, weird. I don't know what that's about. Alright, I'll just ignore it for now. Uh, Alright, so... So that was what the wing looked like before, and then... That's what it looks like now, kind of. I mean, I'll fix the shape, but like that, that seems pretty good in terms of silhouette. Uh... And then in terms of shape, it's basically just like that. So I guess I can keep the highlight the same. It doesn't really need to change. Uh, no, I guess it does, because, yeah, no, it's, it's changing pretty dramatically, the shape of the wing. So the highlight uh, used to be what? It used to be... Whoa, wait, that's... Oh, whoa, I drew that on that layer? Oh, that's unfortunate. So maybe I'll just leave it the same. <laughs> no, I can just separate those layers. Uh, all right. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, doop -doop. uh, cut that right, and then new layer. Uh, this is like the this is for back wing zero. Uh, but yeah, for the for this other back wing, we'll want it to be a little bit uh. I want it to, to be a little bit uh, less, a little more subtle. So, I could probably just draw it on the same layer. It's probably not the worst thing in the world if I just draw it on the same layer. How's that look? It's like that versus... Oops, oh yeah, the, <laughs> the opacity is still really low. Uh, oops, I put it underneath. Uh, it's like that versus... That seems okay. I I used this. I, I used, actually used a lighter color on the wing last time, but this wing is a little more subtle. No, never mind. I should do a better job of it. That, that's a little sloppy. Oops. Wait. No. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I should do a better job of that. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Vangalinksy. <laughs> I um. I hope to get there someday. <laughs> what is that? Like one quadrillion viewers. <laughs> First, that we have, first we need that many people on the planet. That's the first step, and then uh, <laughs> and then the next step is uh, good advertising. Is the next step. <laughs> um, oh, see, hold on. Uh, uh, all right, 
Yeah, I, um, this color doesn't actually exist, so I'm gonna have to fake, I'm gonna have to fake this somehow. Uh, yeah, no, this color just doesn't exist, so I'll just pick it, it's, it was close to, like, this color, I think. Yeah, that's pretty close. Uh, alright, and this is a very subtle detail, so, uh, Just like, just like that. Alright. <laughs> that took a while. For something very simple. Uh, actually, it should be... No, it's fine how it is. Alright, uh, deselect. Uh, uh, okay, so yeah, that's that's one wing. And I, I might change the shape of it a little bit more, because that... Uh, the wingtip looks a little... It's a little flat. Uh, yeah, alright. Well, yeah, it looks a little flat. I'll just fix it up real quick. Uh... Uh, that's, that's fine. Okay, and then, uh, actually, hold on. Yeah. Uh. Hey. That sound means I got a new follower. Uh, Samagon, one, welcome, thank you for following. Uh, welcome to the channel. <laughs> um, that was a very nice sound to hear. Uh, I don't know what's up with that wing, but I'm not going to mess with it any further. Uh, I'll, I'll do the front wing, and then maybe it'll be clear, more clear what to do with the back wing. Alright, so, yeah, a bunch of these layers are going to get hidden now. Uh, not that one. That one, yeah, actually. Oh, yeah, I'll do the, I can do the tail now. Uh, oops. Oh, there's like a little speck. Off in the distance there. Uh, all right, so oh yeah, the tail, and the front wing, and the tail are kind of together. So I'll, I guess I'll do both of them together. Uh, oh yeah, I'll need uh, I'll need guidelines though. So I'll leave that one visible just to remind me what where the wing used to be positioned. Uh, so I'll do the the new tail feathers first, I guess. Uh, pretty straightforward, it's, it, and by straightforward I mean straight back, actually, because they're not going to be as as, uh, as pulled down, they're going to be a little further, a little higher up. Uh, so, that's easy. And then like that, so yeah, the, um, so the line that went across them, oh, I'll, I'll do a new layer for it. Uh, wow, I'm up to layer 40. This is way more layers than I've ever used before. I mean, admittedly, I'm not using, like, all of them right now, but, you know. Uh, alright, and then, uh... Uh... So... Oh, yeah, how's this gonna look with the wing, though? Because I was gonna bring the wing down a little bit. So I want... If I bring... I'll bring it down, but... I don't want it to collide with the tail. So I might bring the tail back down slightly. Like not, I might not bring it up quite as high as I have it here. Uh, yeah. Alright, and then, uh, yeah, so, or yeah, I'm gonna make the, I'm gonna show the wing and make it a little transparent. Uh, just so I can see, like, what the outline used to be. Uh, Alright, so... Maybe, uh, maybe I'll bring down the front of the wing, but bring the back, keep the back of the wing kind of, like, up in that direction. So, oops, wrong tool. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, alright, so new layer. Uh, oh, actually, let me hide detail for a second. Oh, not detail, uh, this layer. Yeah, the, the tail feathers look okay like that. Uh, actually no, I wanna I wanna fix that slightly. Sorry, so let me do that real quick. Uh, what layer is that? That one is like uh, layer forty, yeah. Cause they're not supposed to come down as fast. Oops, wait, what? Oh yeah, layer forty. Uh, they're not supposed to come drop down as much. They're supposed to more, go more like across, uh, like that. 
because the the tips of the tail feathers are supposed to be darker color so it's more like yeah all right subtle detail uh okay <laughs> Uh, excuse me. Um, all right, so layer 41. The new front wing. Good old front wing. Good old... Oh, yeah, I don't want to move the shoulder, so let's look at this for a second. Yeah, because the shoulder should still be in the same place. It should just come down. Or it should not... It shouldn't come up as high. And then, uh... Yeah. So I guess it'll just be like... Just be like, yeah, it'll come down pretty close to the body. I don't want it to literally like touch the. Oops, I don't want it literally to like merge together or anything, but I don't know, kind of like that maybe. Oops, wrong layer. I keep th that layer is called detail, and so I keep thinking the wing, like stripe, is on the detail layer, but no. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so let's uh, <laughs> let's get this layer forty one in shape, because uh, right now it is a little bit of a mess. So yeah, so uh doop It'll be kinda like this, I guess. This will be like relatively the shape of the wing. Uh so the idea is basically just like that the uh the owl is like gliding. Which you you can't glide literally forever, but whatever. This owl can. This owl's really good at gliding. All day. Never stop gliding. Just all gliding, all the time. Alright, so I'm gonna make a new layer, because uh, the wing is looking really f f just weird right now. Because uh, it needs some shading. I guess that'll also help, separ help, help keep the wing separate from the body, is the, the layer of shading in between. Oh, speaking of shading. Uh, Oh yeah, I'm gonna move layer, wait, 41, no, not layer 41, 34, no, where's, uh, oh, layer 40, right, yeah, layer 40, I'm gonna move that up here, so I'm just gonna use layer 42 to draw, wow, for, layer 42, I'm like breaking records left and right, uh, wait, what, layer 40, oh, whoops, I drew in the wrong layer, yeah, layer 42 is where I'm gonna draw the shading on the tail, and Hey, good uh, new follower. <laughs> uh, silence, PRB. Welcome. Thank you for following. Uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, this is. I mean, the tail is looking a little bit flat here, but that's fine. Uh, all right. So I'll just. Uh, yeah, like before. The so the the. Uh, the wing will be mostly shaded, but it'll actually be a little lighter around the edges, just because, like, the feathers, you know, you can actually catch light through them, because they're relatively thin. How does that look? It's, uh, well, it's a, little, it's a little dirty, like, the edges of the... Just how I drew it, like, they're a little unclean, untidy. Uh, but other than that, how does it look under? Uh, oh, you know what I should have done, or you know what I should do is, uh, I'm going to, uh, hide these new layers, show the old layers, uh, oops, this one's very light opacity. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna show the old layers for a second, and, uh, and, uh, while I'm doing that, I'm going to, where's layer 39? Oh, no, that's not, yeah, so this is the, this is the original version, right? Oh, wait, there's, uh, something's wrong here. What's happening? happening in here? Something's not right there. Do I have one too many layers active? Is that is that how it always looks? Maybe that was how it was it. Maybe no 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 wait what is it? The yeah the something's messed up with the legs. Uh oh layer thirty four. There we go. 
Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is yeah. This is what the this is what the, this is what the first frame of animation looked like, right? So I'm going to uh, I'm going to print screen. Just take a screenshot of it. And file new. 